Hi everyone, my name is Mr Grimstead. I am the subject leader for music here at Clinician High School. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce you to our uh, video to advertise A-level music, uh, give you a little bit of information about the course and we've got a few guests uh, to give you their opinion on, uh, on the music department as well. To start off with, um, I wanted to look at the course summary. So uh, in AS Music, it's essentially an extension of what you've been doing in GCSE Music. So we have performing, we have composing, we have appraising. And they're kind of equally uh, spread out in thirds. Uh, the performing level is slightly higher this uh, year. Um, so whereas we would be looking at a grade 3 and above standard for GCSE, we're looking around a grade 5 standard and above for uh, A level. However, you don't need to have taken uh, that course or got that qualification as long as you're performing to that standard, that's fine. And the performance is a little bit longer uh, than in GCSE, so we're looking at between six and eight minutes, and this time it's performed in front of a visiting examiner rather than being recorded as you did for GCSE. Uh, for composition, we uh, composed two pieces this year. Uh, one following a set brief, which is in a Western classical tradition style. And the other one is a free choice composition. Any style, any genre, um, any set of instruments is completely up to you. Uh, the final unit is the listening, the appraising paper. And uh, similar to GCSE, there's going to be questions that you can't revise for, ones that um, you're using your uh, musical ability, your oral skills, and then other ones where we focus on areas of study. Uh, one is the Western classical tradition, and then a choice of either pop or musical theatre or jazz. And depending on the group and uh, what people are interested in, uh, we will choose uh, accordingly in September. Then we move on to A2. And for A2, the, um, the nice thing about the new specification is that students can specialise in a particular area. So if you're stronger in performing, you can have more of the weighting of the uh, the final grade on your performance or vice versa for composition. So you can see there's there's an option A and an option B. Um, an option A, you perform more, so you're going to perform three pieces lasting to 10 to 12, so almost like a professional recital. Um, or if you specialize in composition, you produce um, three compositions uh, lasting five to nine minutes. One following the brief and then a couple of free choice compositions. In A2 uh, we have a listening exam and that develops on from the work you have done in AS. So the Western classical tradition uh, including set works, uh, music of the 20, 20th and 21st century that includes um, our impressionist uh, music and uh, choice of pop musical theatre jazz whichever you studied in AS you take for, for A2. That's a, a written examination, listening to the music, responding to what you can hear, and finding things in scores. I love A-level music because I can practice the instrument I love whenever I need to. Hi all, my name is Miss Grono and I'm one of the music teachers here at Clinician High School. We've got really great facilities in the music department, including two large classrooms, one with a grand piano. We've also got two computer rooms, all kitted out with Sibelius, as well as several practice rooms, which include drum kits, acoustic and electric pianos. I like composing and I think it's cool that I get to create my own music. <laughs> Hopefully that's given you a little bit of a flavour of the music department and of the course. If you've got any more questions, uh, please don't hesitate. Just come and find either Miss Grono or myself um, and we can have a chat or drop us an email in the contact details that you can see on the screen. And we'd love uh, to talk to you 
um, about next year. And fingers crossed seeing you on the course. Thank you.